Okay, your five minutes begins now. All right, it says, the contents of the 8th century British Library Syriac Manuscript. 8th century. Can you, can you tell me what, what is the date that you think that Muhammad died? You, you, you don't want to answer the question if I ask you a direct question. Well, yeah, this is your five minutes to, to, to pick points of uh, This is why I hate this down. format. Okay, I according know, to know. traditional Sunnah sources, Muhammad died in 632. This is according to Sunni sources. Now, if he died in 632, a hundred years later, somebody came and found a fragment and wrote something down a hundred years later <clears throat> about a guy who lived in the year like 640. Now, Muhammad died in 632, according to the sources. And this says that in the year 947, the Arabs invaded the whole of Syria, went down to Persia, conquered it. The Arabs climbed the mountain of Mardin, killed many monks there, blah, blah, blah. Okay? So this is what he's just been reading. And then it says, in the year 945, on the Friday, 14th and 4th of February, and so on and so on, then the Arabs of somebody called MHMT. Now, what Robert Hoyland is doing is he is interpreting this as Muhammad. Now, you can do that. You can say that MHMT can mean Muhammad. But he was dead 13 years. So how can you have a Muhammad? This does absolutely nothing. It doesn't mention, this is why I said, this does not mention the Muhammad as described in the Sunnah. There is no mention here of anything relating to Muhammad, other just the, just the name, which could be Muhammad. If, we, if I'm charitable and I say MHMT is Muhammad, then I'll say, okay, here we have the Arabs of Muhammad. Great, what does that tell us? It tells us absolutely nothing. Because it doesn't mention the Quran, it doesn't mention Muslims, it doesn't mention Islam, it doesn't mention anything about Muhammad, otherwise, other than there's a guy who was attacking some people, not well, whatever the reasons were, that he was attacking some people, and his name was Muhammad. That's all we have. And then the Arabs ravaged the whole region. And this is an explicit reference to a guy named Muhammad. So all we have here is hearsay. All we have is somebody called Robert Hoyland, in his book, Seeing Islam as Others Saw It, says here that there is a reference a couple of hundred years later in some area far away from Mecca, where somebody said something about a guy attacking somebody and his name was Muhammad. Is that really the level of your evidence? Now, I think evidence is something where, number one, a contemporary person, in other words, somebody living like around the year 620, Okay, he says, well, I remember Muhammad, he came to our village and he was trading with us. Because remember, for 20 years of his life, Muhammad was a trader. So why don't we have anybody who says, well, I traded with him and he was honest and he gave me this and um, he gave me some spices. I gave him some, some swords or uh, whatever. There is nobody, nobody, nobody who says anything about Muhammad during his lifetime in the area where he was between Mecca and Medina where he was allegedly. We don't have that. So all we have now is somebody, somebody in, in Syria, in Palestine, wherever that may be, somebody called Muhammad. Sorry, that's not evidence. That's me. Done with this one. I don't need the full five minutes. Okay. Uh, Jamal, you have five minutes to make your rebuttal. Jamal? I'm just loading up my timer as well. One second. Okay. The time begins when you begin to speak, okay? Right, okay. So, yeah. First question that I'm going to ask him that he can, uh, he, he can answer in his time. Well, I mean, yeah, we can, we can have... Um, well, that's it, actually, yeah. All right, cool. So let me do it like this. Is he claiming that the source or the source is from the eighth century? If so, I think he is purposefully obfuscating the evidence. Again, I point everyone to chapter four of Seeing Islam as Others Saw It uh, by Robert Hoyland, 
the the eighth century. This is what the actual quote says: "The contents of the eighth century British Library Syriac manuscript." Now, does that mean that the reference or the primary source is from the eighth century? If if so, I don't think he knows how uh, archiving works. So the point here is that we have Thomas of Presbyter who died in 640 AD, right? So it, he can't, it can't have been an 8th century manuscript if he died in the 7th century. So he died in 640 AD and he writes the following, as I said, in the year 634, which corresponds to our 634 AD, at the ninth hour on Friday 4th of February, there was a battle between Ro the Romans and the Arabs of Muhammad right in palestine 12 miles east of gaza the romans fled leaving behind the patrician whom the arabs killed some 4000 poor villagers and so on and so forth so the point is again i'm going to repeat it this is this is uh, the first explicit reference you can find this on page 120 i urge everyone to go and download a pdf or get the copy if you're interested uh, most people aren't this is just to show the the poor arguments that these critics of Islam are coming up with. In this, a non-Muslim, Robert Hoyland, says that this is the first explicit reference to Muhammad in a non-Muslim source, and its very precise dating inspires confidence that it ultimately derives from first-hand knowledge, end quote. So here, we can't talk about, well, we that, that's explicit, that's done. The, that, I want at this point, it's finished, it's over, you're done. Tuck to bed, good night. But the other point I need to raise is that any attempt to change the goalpost stops just reflects bad on you. When you try to change the goalposts and say, oh, but this isn't the Muhammad of the Sunnah, or this isn't the Muhammad of the Islamic tradition, that's changing the goalposts. Because your statement was, and this is what we're debating, that there is no shred of evidence for Muhammad existing in history, or something to that effect. Now, you, that statement has, is falsifiable. I don't need to go to any of the other sources. The whole book is is replete with references i don't need to go to any other one you trying to discredit this 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 reference does you no favors because it goes against your argument that there is no shred of evidence i've given you a piece of evidence if you don't like it take it up with uh the british museum who houses the material you know what i mean or the author who take, who's taking the time to write the book so as i say as far as i'm concerned the the central point here hasn't hasn't been argued against. All he's attempted to do is change the goalposts and decry uh, a, a non a non reference to the Muhammad of the Sunnah or of the Islamic tradition, which wasn't the point. And this is perhaps a sober a sobering lesson to you, stops, so that you know, you don't make arrogant statements again. Because when you made that statement that there is not a shred of evidence for Muhammad existing. You fucked up. <laughs> All right. So I'm just letting you know that you fucked up. And uh, that's the reference. Doesn't really go much further than that. I've still got a minute. So I'm going to, I'm going to, um, what do you call it? I'm going to fill a bust. Yeah, I'm going to fill a bust still. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to actually put some more flesh on the bones of the reference. That's what I'm going to do. Right. So, right. Okay. So, do, 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 Right. Now, the account, uh, Robert Hoyland continues on the reference, which explicitly mentions Muhammad and is, um, is a historical evidence for Muhammad's existence. It continues, it says, the account is usually identified with the Battle of Daythin, or D-A-T-H-I-N, which Muslim historians say took place near Gaza in the springs of 634. Now, this is... Um, this is corroborated by, well, no, I've got 10 to 9 seconds, Theophanes, who, in, who mentions, and this is again, according to, this is on page 120 of Seeing Islam as Others Saw It, that this battle was mentioned by a Roman, or Theophanes mentions a Roman defeat at Dathimon, or Dathismos, which cor like, correlates with Dathin, and I'll give my time. Okay. Okay, gentlemen, at this point we've both had two we've both had two rounds of five minutes. Would you be uh, acceptable to maybe ask each other some questions based on what you've already proposed? I'm easy. 
And he's not Jamal? done anything. He's not brought up anything. So what's I'm, I'm good. I'm good, man. I've, I, yeah, I've, I've given, I've given. What do you want to ask each other give, questions? And, or do you want uh, to end, end, uh, okay, end it there? let me let me just quickly address this, and then, then no, it, ends, it, ends there, it ends there. It ends there. The thing is that okay. um, I I don't need to know how archiving works. It's your claim. You explain it. If you don't understand what Hyde and wrote, it, it's it's not my mistake. You need to argue it. Okay. And it's just the interpretation of Hoyland that you're bringing up. I, I don't share it. So it's not explicit. It's not anything. No goalposts were shifted. We're not talking about Muhammad Ali or Muhammad Hijab or something. We're talking about the Muhammad of the, of the, um, of the Sunnah. That's quite clear. Now, you are quoting Hoyland. You argue your that case. That was the shift of goalposts right there. You we're don't not talking about to, Muhammad of Sunnah. You don't we're talking about historical to to existence of Muhammad. That's what we're talking about. Don't try Zirab, it. If you don't, don't understand... We're talking about the historical Muhammad. Did Muhammad exist? That's the question. And, Which Muhammad? Uh, Muhammad Ali or Muhammad that. Hijab? <laughs> That's exactly my point. So I am being specific. I'm not moving any goalposts. Yeah, I'm no just point. specifying yeah, that no we are point. talking about the yeah, Muhammad. No point. The... Mentioning Muhammad Ali and oh God, Muhammad Hijab starting. doesn't really help you. It just shows that you might be fixated on those people a little bit. Okay, are you going to shut up when I talk? Okay, uh... We don't need to speak to each other. <laughs> the debate like is that. finished, yeah. mate. There's no need to get into your feelings, man. Just get out of your if, feelings. Relax. If, I thought he was if, off your period today. If you if you both uh, agree that, that it's finished, we're not going to talk about this particular subject any further, okay? I don't agree that it's finished. Not at all. Not okay. with these claims. Well, he's, he's, uh, he's talking nonsense and then makes claims. Jamal, do you want to 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 spar a little bit? <laughs> he just he sounds like a tough throwing a temper tantrum now. He's for, he, <laughs> he does sound like well, he's throwing like a temper tantrum. In, in we we a dumb magician as the as the moderator, you are the fair person in this. We know you know what we agreed to. We agreed on it. It's done. Absolutely. But I, so I'm asking you, would you want to spar or do you want to finish it there? I already said it's finished. It's finished there. Right, okay, so. I mean, he doesn't want to continue to go any further, okay? And we didn't agree anything else beforehand, which we could... Oh, well, done. you know, that bit of reverse psychology stops. I think I'm, I'm going to engage again now. Well done. I think you you pulled me back in with that primary no, uh, no, primary uh, reverse psychology. No, well done. I'm not trying to be... No, I know. Not you, not you, not you, Dom. I just responded to stops. He said I'm scared, so I was just addressing okay. that. All right. So well, you make you claims begin, and then you run away. Wait. What? What is the point of this? Spamming, spamming, spamming. Before we begin, are we both agreeing to have a quick spa? I agree, yes. Okay, are you agreeing, Jamal? <laughs> no, 